after publishing my previous anti-Bernie's video, I've done some searching on YouTube for more anti-Bernie related stuff. And as it turns out, I'm pretty late to the discussion, by at least a year. And in recent videos, there have been some legit arguments to not liking the show, which I can respect. But like I said in the last video, I don't believe there should be a logical reason to hate on an entire fandom for innocently enjoying a TV show like this. However, since I want to be a fair and unbiased individual on the internet, I might as well attempt to examine the possibilities that may lead to anti-Bernies being who they are. So let's dive in. Some of these anti-Bernies are people that grew up during the 80s and 90s, when toys at the store were clearly divided into sections for boys and girls. Now, I don't have a definite answer for why they did that, but it did lead to some confusion amongst kids, because I'm pretty sure some of those guys actually wanted the Easy Bake Oven, while some girls had their eye on those water pistols. Now I can understand that this division was probably for the purposes of marketing, because people think guys are more likely to buy violent things like guns and robots, while girls are more likely to buy cute things like dolls and princess stuff. But some people take this crap way too seriously, going so far as to not only avoid the other section, but to also forbid their children from going to said section themselves. This most likely led to what I believe is the number one cause of most bullying in the world, jealousy. If kids can't experience certain pleasures either due to a meaningless label and inability to afford such a thing or because their parents said no, then they attempt to justify such holes in their life by growing a hatred to them. And when jealousy spawns hatred of a certain thing, it also eventually forms into hatred of anybody who loves said thing. Thus, a bully is created. Or in the case of MLP, the anti-brony. And then this bully grows up and has children of their own to raise them the same way, and thus the cycle continues. Also, around that period of time, My Little Pony was going through its third generation, which was radically different from French of His Magic of today. I'll put the Zerato Things video discussing this topic at the end screen, but for now, I'll just say, Mmm. And what do we do about it? We should encourage the ones that are being picked on for this reason to stand up for themselves, to not let others dictate what you should and shouldn't like, and to not become the thing that haunts you. If you like something that your friends don't like, then your friends will accept you for who you really are. Within reason, of course, I mean, if you like doing very inappropriate things, then I think they have a right to not like you for that. Also, if your parents watched My Little Pony Generation 3, then it may seem very difficult at first to like Friendship is Magic knowing that, but it is not an impossible task. You never know what you can accomplish unless you try for yourself. It feels like I fell asleep. Woke up in another nightmare. Going into a world of chaos for the reason that I am here. I'm not going to sugarcoat this topic. Some members of the Burning fandom can go too far with their love for the show. If someone out there legitimately likes Friendship is Magic, and another brony is constantly yapping about spoilers, minor details, head cannons, fan fictions, fan theories, and other bull crap, it could be one of the things that breaks the straw on the camel's back, turning a casual brony into an auntie. And something I forgot to mention in the last video as well, if you don't like the show, it doesn't make you an anti-brony. It just makes you a normie in the eyes of other bronies, which, to the eyes of normies and other bronies, is totally okay. But what could turn a normie into an anti-brony is if a toxic brony, like a bronyism for instance, refuses to acknowledge someone's reason not to like the show, even if it's legitimate, which could lead to said toxic brony constantly urging them, if not forcing them, to give the show another chance. What should we do about it? If someone doesn't like the show, the least we can do is hear them out, and then possibly back off. Just because they don't like the show doesn't mean they need a reason to not like you. And if you know of someone who's been harassed by a brony, try to reassure them that the entire fandom doesn't act in that way. If we can't make people bronies, the least we can do is stop them from being anti-bronies. I'm 
Ah, yes, the very same thing that causes kids to do drugs, skip school, steal cars, and other bad stuff is yet another reason our fandom has haters. Negativity is just as contagious as positivity, and thus, as the brony fandom spreads, so does its legion of haters. Sometimes this can be caused by someone who hates another person in particular, and by discovering said person is a brony, their hatred extends to all bronies, thus causing said hater to come up with some bullcrap excuse in order to make their friends follow suit. But sometimes peer pressure can have a reverse effect, even with good intentions. If a brony attempts to force someone else to become a brony against their will, or just won't shut up about ponies, then the other person will likely grow distaste for that brony, which if left unchecked can lead to that person also becoming an anti. What do we do about this? Instead of forcing our friends to act like us, behave like us, and do what we do, we should encourage them to accept and reject things solely on their own preference. If someone wants you to harass someone for no reason, ask yourself this. If that person told you to go jump off a cliff or shove a cactus up your poo hole, would you do it? Probably not. In conclusion, while we have found no singular finite point of origin from which the anti bronies originate, it is likely to be traced back to gender bias marketing, bullies, peer pressure, toxic bronies, or all the above. This anti brony thing is quite a fascinating topic, so please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and have a brony-licious day.